okay welcome back to this uh, second video on the use of fractals the first one there was some problem with recording so it got discontinued after uh, five slides uh, we were discussing the use of down fractals in an uptrend now next we have to see the use of up fractals in an uptrend so earlier one was the use of down fractals in an uptrend now we'll see a use of up fractal in a uptrend uh, in in case of a, an up fractal uh, in case an up fractal is formed now you can see uh, you can see that there are on the right side there are five bars which are shown here the you are get you are getting an up uh, up fractal the middle fractal is having the highest high the right two sides uh, the two candle or two bars on the right side and the left side they are having lower high so you are getting an up fractal now once an up fractal is formed it means that the high of the third candle will act as a resistance so the best thing to do if you have already entered and uh, had may have made a sub substantial profit you can exit as soon as the fifth candle is fifth uh, bar of the fractal is formed so once the uh, up fractal is formed you can in, uh, exit from your position okay there are two ways of exiting one way is by the uh, by the formation of the up fractal after the fifth bar you can exit alternatively uh, you can use the low of the previous uh, down fractal to exit now it depends on the situation uh, how much you profit you have made if you have made substantial profit then you can exit over here or uh, if you are little conservative or you appear afraid that you might lose the whatever profits you make you can exit over here but if you are willing to carry forward carry or be a stay in the trend then you can uh, continue to remain in the trend and use the low of the uh, down fractal as a stop loss okay so that is up to your psychology the up fractals can also be used for re entry into a position if the high of the third candle is taken out without the formation of a down fractal Now, if you if an up fractal is formed, if an up fractal is formed, now you can see here in this case an up fractal is formed. Uh, if you have just invested or if you feel that the uptrend is likely to continue, then you can hold your position. And as soon as the high of the up fractal is uh, crossed, you can make a re-entry point. You can add more position. Okay. So this was actually the original Bill Williams uh, method of using fractal. that is once a high of a fractal is taken out you make the entry okay so you can make a re entry or even a fresh entry you can do with this way so this is how you can make use of an up fractal in a up trend now let us see how will you make use of an up fractal in a down trend in a down uh, in a down trend the up fractal formation is shown here and uh, this acts as a the up fractal the third candle will act as a resistance the high of the third candle will act as a resistance so as soon as you get a down as soon as you get the up fractal uh, below the fifth candles in a uh, low you can go short or sell the securities short selling you can do since the third candle of an up fractal acts as a strong resistance it's time to sell as the fifth candle of the fractal is formed provided the stop loss is not deep now you can make a short entry over here and your stop loss will be over here if the distance between the stop loss and the entry point is very large then you need not take that position or you can have a stop loss over the high of the fourth candle as the stop loss okay every up fractal formed in a downtrend can be used for entry or pyramiding now if you are getting another another up fractal then you can have a second short position in this you can uh, you can see in the dia in the chart on the right side that uh, the first fractal is formed you are doing the short and then the second fractal is formed you can do another short so that way you can pyramid your short positions okay as uh, more and more fractals are formed in a downtrend stop loss for all entry position will keep on falling 
after the first fractal the stop loss will be the high of this third candle of the first fractal after the second fractal the high of the third candle of the second fractal will act as the stop loss so then you can use this way the up fractal in a downtrend now how to use the down fractal in a downtrend the down fractal in a downtrend can be used by uh, exiting the short positions once you get a, a down fractal uh, in a downtrend and if you are already short that is already you have sold the script you can exit your short position above the high of the fifth uh, bar which is formed okay in case a uh, down fractal is formed one can exit from the current sell position now you can also use the down fractals for uh, re entry into a short position if the low of the third candle is take out taken out without the formation of a subsequent up fractal so here you are having a uh, down fractal and uh, you can uh, if you feel that the downtrend is going to continue further you can hold your short position and below the low of your low of this fractal you can add more short or if you have already exited you can reshort your position below the low of the low of the down fractal okay this was the original a uh, method given by bill williams that uh, the low of the down fractal if it is broken you can go short now in case of a sideways market don't use fractals or don't trade because uh, you will be all the time entering and exiting so how to determine the trend there are various ways are there a separate video will be made for that uh, okay now in the next video we'll see the applications of the rules discussed on real charts and uh, the real situations whatever we have discussed in this chart uh, this video and the earlier video we'll apply them on the real charts uh, please like and share this video thank you very much